and henceforth it shall be. Okay, so what are you still after? Conquering Crete? That I don't mind. That would be excellent, in fact, since that would draw uh, Venice into a disastrous war. Speaking of disastrous, what do we have here? What a pity. Who would have seen that coming? An uprising. Well, I saw it coming. Funny, that. All this sailing around is a bit painful as well. How are we doing on the limits here? Couple more cogs. And a galley. Even though it'll take forever. <coughs> Excuse me. Jake, why not eat Cyprus? Can't even forge a claim on Cyprus, and they're guaranteed by the Mams. So if the Mamluks were to find themselves underfoot from the Ottomans, then I would choose that time to strike. Okay, fortunately Zeta don't want to rise up with any, any Montenegrins. Okay, dance to my tune, Ottoman puppet. So glad that these don't kill uh, core creation anymore. Are those Ottoman separatists going down? No. No, they are not. But once separatism ticks away, they will. That's only a wee while away. Alright, there we have it. Exporting them rebels. And all we need is one little guy. I feel like I'm missing someone. One little guy. To go and deal with the rest. Ah, not again. Hurting me right in the wallet. And that's what we were waiting for. Knew these guys would rise up, but now we have the defender bonus. And their morale is not topped out. And we have, you know, five maneuver because it's worthless, but at least we have bragging rights. It's pretty awful as 100 tradition generals go, 225. But in a way it's kind of funny, isn't it? So there we go. No need to worry about these. And we'll get them all sieged back. And we'll probably never have to worry about an uprising in Morea ever again. Oh, actually that's not true because I decreased the autonomy. At least it makes us some money. I really don't want to deal with those Ottomans, though. Take care of them as well. The Ottoman rebels, that is. So what we've done, within 20 or 30 years, we expanded pretty dramatically as Trebizond. We didn't tech up, so we're hurting in that respect. But we grabbed a lot of land and just said to hell with the rebels. We exported them into other countries, safe in the knowledge that they would fight them. At least most of the time we were safe in that knowledge. And that allowed us to just keep going without having to worry too much there. Okay, very soon now Lithuania is going to be free. They will probably ally up Poland straight away. And they will... Ooh, Poland, that is, will probably join in on that one. Muscovy have a truce with them? Accepting would destabilize Muscovy. Ah, military access. But that accounts for 250 of it. Once that other war is over, I will probably use Muscovy to utterly destroy Lithuania. They have some claims, I don't mind giving them one or two. But me, I need to carve up that Byzantine land. Also, welcome, fairly average ruler. But, as they say, he's got it where it counts. I need that admin, like, fat kid needs exercise. I also don't want any auto scum rising up here, so there we go takes care of you. Might seem like I'm managing all this a bit too intensely, but that's okay. And the more I think about it, the more I don't mind that minus five to legitimacy because Trebizond ambition uh, ideas actually give us plus one right from the get-go. We also have that 50% chance of new air, which is utterly worthless. Why do we even have that there? Someone please tell me why. Alright, there we go. That'll get rid of the Ottoman uprisings altogether. And if you don't know, having units in a province, as long as they are paid maintenance, they reduce the unrest in that province. Uh, the more I think about it, the more I really don't want this fort in Maria. It's just costing me loads of money. Okay. 
Right, I'm not sure if you already are, but I am making both of you important. That way I'll be able to tell when you kick the bucket. I want to actually make sure of that. No, not the ledger, Jake, you old fool. Message settings, interesting nations, dynastic. Yep, I get a, I get a pop-up when other interesting nations get new monarchs, so I want to keep my eye on that for Lithuania. Yeah, I'm... Bosnia is, an, is a kingdom? Yeah, I guess that's true. Hmm. Military power is hurting us now because they actually built up a force. So I'd have to really get jacked. Well, that can be arranged, can't it? Jake, are you going to use that Western focus? I would need to get myself around to uh, Prague, Wien, or Danzig. I would love to, but it requires Admin Tech 10, so it's a long way away from my pathetically under teched nation anyway. Alright, the Ottoman Separatists are gone altogether. The Achaeans are a different matter, but I can't really stop them just by throwing troops down. Serbians want to rise up again, amusingly enough. Why and where? But mostly why? That's really quite funny. Minus 20 isn't actually enough to overcome the other obstacles. Oh well, more rebels for the Ottomans. That I don't mind at all. And I also have no need to pay my troops right now. Wonderful. Jake, can you get achievement to form Byzantine? No. Just no. Alright, now you're at war with Castile and Portugal and Castilian Conquest of the Board. Hopefully you get utterly hammered. And then it's time to strike, but there's a lot of trust going on there. Yes, I can have a core on us, but too bad for them. Eh, if they get a bit too revolting, we can deal with that. Come on, you old bloody fool, just die. Stop, stop squeezing out the subpar. Oh well. Always feels bad considering increasing autonomy in provinces that you integrated. And since we're at war, autonomy isn't going down. And there we go, our extremely fast general is dead, and my, we've made a lot of enemies. Poland, Ottomans, Naples, Nagai... Well, as long as we are still kissing the feet of Muscovy, we'll be alright. But we should probably invest in another friend, even if it brings us over the limit. Hungary looked quite tasty in that regard, and since they're friends with Austria, and enemies of Poland, they could really help us out if, uh things get a bit nasty with Lithuania. Neutral and neutral. Still for our own safety. It seems like a prudent thing to do. Should also start considering annexing Astrakhan. They've been sitting there for too long, even though they're on disgusting Sunni land. Yeah, I guess they're next on the chopping block. Yeah, so much to do, but really I should just relax. There we go, Lithuania's down. Poland allies England, Lithuania is friendless. Sadly, Muscovy is still trapped up in this war. When they finish that war, they'll be more than happy to steamroll all over them. But Lithuania's, Lithuania is probably going to ally Poland. So we'll just grab an alliance with Hungary, even though it pushes us over the limit. Just temporary. Hmm. Not a big fan of Terek here. But I'd lose my core on it and I'd give it to them. 
Not a big fan of Astrakhan getting all uh, up in my face. It is ours, and it always will be. That hurts a bit. And it only goes down one yearly. Ah, well. Sure, why not? Jake, check France. They're getting beaten by Castile. That's odd, that. Well, not just Castile. Castile and Portugal when France isn't getting backed up at all. There's nothing too surprising. But it's Venice that I want to get slapped a bit. Yeah, damn right you're rethinking things there. But I need Muscovy to decide that they also want to smack you. I need to stop dealing with all this uh, wrong religion land. When I still don't have any religious ideas and I'm a fair while away from getting them. I mean, am I even still converting this? Yes, slowly. Get it done a bit faster if we actually had a bit of stability. Sure, Miss Republic's already. Let's just hope our ruler lasts for a while. Does Muscovy have a Lithuanian truce? They do not, but they have military access through Lithuania. They're probably going to wait the five years here so they can annex Mus uh, Novgorod. And since this war was started in 84, it is now 89. Should be any month now. Heck, any day now. So I should lean back and get myself into position. I'm prepared to destroy Lithuania since they're next on the target list. Oh, Achaeans, actually. They they are the next on the target list. Don't want them rising up this month. No, sir. Okay, that's good. Should have enough time to deal with them. Even though we ain't got any good general here. Let's change that. Beautiful. Let's re-roll. Forget he ever existed. Some people like to use automatic fleet transportation. I am not one of these people. Not by a long shot. And the Gizmoluk separatists really wish to rise up too. Now, this is one of the problems with expanding the way I do. I face quite a lot of revolts. And they're generally pretty nasty. Just gotta deal with them as best you can. And they're certainly not uh, a blast. Not all that enjoyable, let me assure you. Come on now, Muscovy. Lumen England. They're just the nail house of war allies. Not gonna do anything, but they're still gonna be there and cause you hassle. Alright, I don't have an easy way to get rid of the revolt risk across all of these provinces. It's not something that time is going to help with. Oh nice, excellent. How about fighting Lithuania for me right now? Sure, they have Poland as a friend, but... 6, 7, 7... And you still have Perm as a vassal. And, you know, Lithuania, Poland, they're already weakened by other wars, right? Poland boasting no manpower, although rather a lot of men. Lithuania boasting rather a lot of men as well. And a chunk of manpower. And Muscovy? Hmm. 5,000. Oh, sorry, 50,000. Hungary not interested, but Hungary might change their tune when Poland get involved. <coughs> they might. No guarantee on that one, though. But my good friend Bosnia will help us out. Just important not to name Poland as a uh, co belligerent. And our fleet wins in all of this. Alright, dance to my tune, Muscovy. Heck, you might even beat some of my rebels for me.
Let's let's just re-click all that, because I know sometimes when these checkboxes have lied to me. Yedistan is fine. Maybe not if Bratislav is there. What's the worst that could happen? Well, I could straight away start fighting them, but we outnumber them by 50%, so that's okay at least. Hey, Hungary. Yeah, you're only turned off by my abhorrent uh, diplomatic reputation, which will be fixed in three years, but in three years... Eh, you might be interested. Wouldn't want to say one way or the other. Are we married? Yeah, we are. Ah, well, here I have military access, just in case you want to do something with it. Yeah, I'll keep my eyes on you in case you want to join in here. So, pretty much counting on Muscovy to do all the heavy lifting here. Hmm, this means war. Well, we're already at war, but it means more. Jake, empty fort in Bessarabia. That uh, would be nice to snipe. But there is no time, probably. So it's kind of expected that they're going to come in and ravage my countryside here a bit. But there's no forts. I don't even have to worry. I mean, what are they going to do? Ah, they were too slow for resolve. That's part of it. Mantrega, Kuban. Probably get more bang from a buck on Kuban, but... Crimea needs to be done at some point since that's really worth quite a bit. Sure, why not Crimea? Ah, it's rather a large army there. Let's tell my vassals to make up their own minds on what they want to do. As I demolish the navy. And you need to get back to uh, making me some money over in Crimea. Gonna shed, shed any tears over one trading uh, boat. So yeah, they're gonna spill down, but I'm just like, no forts there, boss. This is me trying to act like. Uh, geez, glad I declared that war when I did. Nice Regency Council, but that's doing a number on my legitimacy, and I'm about to see some rebels, no doubt. So sadly, I gotta activate maximum autonomy around here. Eh, yeah, this'll go a bit ugly, but... Where's the fun in flawless execution? Jake, you got some lazy diplomats. Well, cheers for the heads up. I wonder what we could do with them. Already got swimmingly good relations with a bunch of you. Perhaps get it a bit better with Hungary and... Hmm, I'm already doing it with Astrakhan. You kept Shirvan as an ally. Actually, you made Shirvan a vassal. Ottomans have got me pegged in here in a rather nasty way. Hmm. I'm going to gobble up Astrakhan. Maybe I should consider giving them some more land. Even though they hate me slightly. Yeah, sure. Why not? Get that claim on no gay. And that's also excellent news. Level 1 Statesman. Giving me that little bit of... Well, not good enough. Sure hope you don't ally Lithuania, that would be... <laughs> You're friendly towards them, I really hope you don't ally them. What a kick in my teeth that would be. So, they spill across my countryside. That's uh, the opposite of good. Muscovy sits there not doing too much, that's also not very good. Hey Muscovy, how about you? You take that fort. No, not biting? Oh well. Not my boats, man. I need those for trading. Oh, they've got a heavy ship there, actually, which is causing us a bit of grief. Let's go and take it out. 
Still waiting for these Achaean separatists to rise up, but they're not playing ball. Thank you, Achaeans. With you out of the picture. Hmm. Wait. Yeah, unfortunately, our friends aren't there. Easy money. I do find myself wondering, where did those heavies come from? Ah, they ran away, didn't they? So the enemy number in the many, the very many in fact, but the poles are, yikes, my army maintenance is really rather high when I'm spending it all. Ah, reinforcements of course. Well that's okay. Expected in fact. Ah, we'll be fine. Let's get our troops back to where they need to be. Bessarabia, right? Thanks for the pointer on the inflation, but it may just have to stay that way at this point. Thankfully the, floor, the forts are being floored. And that will allow Muscovy to push on in with their superior numbers. Alright, Lithuania, I feel they can take us here. Part of that'll be because my uh, general didn't end up on that stack. They'll probably team up with the Moldavians there, but if I can get it before they do, which I can, then what do I care? Okay, these guys are essentially nothing. No problem. Yeah, the war exhaustion barely raises because we have not got our. Uh, we haven't got our forts under occupation. There we go. Slaughtering Lithuanians just. Uh, to me, it was Tuesday. Losing the war score from not having Sproja under occupation. But we're also a little stuck in a rut. So I need to get my transports in on that. Got a new militant leader in the Ottomans. Thankfully, military is not his thing. He just thinks it is. And that's enough. Bessarabia is reinforced slightly. We can go and deal with this ever so slight issue. Oh, that isn't an ever so slight issue. At least I can run through to Muscovy if things look a little grim. But I would rather like this province. Yeah, they're not going to let me off with that. They're going to chase me down. Well, chase me down all you want. Farewell inflation. Okay, excellent work being done on the forts here. And I've chased the Lithuanian stack to where they're going to get demolished. One downside is that uh, I've chased myself into a bad spot here, and Astrakhan's fort has gone. That hurts the, uh, the war score slightly. Well, there are more troops where they came from.
Yeah, that actually did stick me in on this side. Hmm. Alright, well, I can make my own move on Kursk then. Even though those Lithuanians are a little scary. Don't think they'll move on me as long as these Muscovites are in pegging them. No, Sweden. You stay the heck away here. They may or may not get called in there. Certainly be a pain if they did. Ah. Okay, they number in the few, at the very least, here. And they've already got their hands full, so let's hope it stays that way. With their hands being very full. Now, Poland may not want to peace out too early. They've still got high war enthusiasm, but that might not last forever. We're not interested in Polish land at all, and thankfully their troops are rather garbage, so it's not even something we have to worry too much about. Whilst I'm dealing with that, though, I would like three of you folks to focus on desieging what we have here. Oh, well, actually, you know what? Maybe... Maybe you're alright. Just do the bare minimum there, then. So with that, at least we've got a touch of war score again. But the Swedes are a pain here. At least they should, since they joined late. They'll have a similar amount of uh, length of war. I think mean, getting them out would be a pain. Probably the same for Poland as well. Release Montenegro and Armenia. And release Kandar. Well, we know that that isn't happening. And they don't have much... Uh, score from the things that they have occupied. So that's fine. Okay, lads, back up a bit, because this is going to look ugly. Get yourselves over to Mantrega, and we'll pick you up. Good going, Bosnia, grabbing Moldavia, and transferring it to the one that matters. Alright, good, they're actually sticking themselves there. Moldavian land isn't bad. No, it's very good, in fact. Look at that. Farmland, too. And that is what you want. Even steps aren't that bad. Okay, so they've decided to uh, do something very nasty and besiege my capital. I don't like that one bit. And I doubt anybody is going to actually save me anytime soon from that. That's alright. We make our own luck around here. Although we also... Hope for uh, hope for things to go a bit better there. Besieged by Poles, right? Poles. And we have a back door into Poland now. Okay, we can get Poland out of this war without too much bother. And unless they get some uh, pretty sick sieges there. We're pretty sick rolls on the siege. We should be more than fine. So it might look like things are going pretty damn bad for us, but this is all according to plan, with the exception of Sweden. Sweden was never part of the plan. Welcome back, Genoa. Didn't expect to see you, to be honest. True Red Devil obviously doesn't have faith in my campaign here. He says, uh... Even Jake's luck can run out. Alright, Kursk. We did leave you a little abandoned there, but we were safe in the knowledge that we'd be saved by the Muscovites. Be saved a bit better if we, uh, teched up at an opportune moment. And slaughtered those that would think to do us harm. How many have we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's one too few to do.